you can see rain throughout our forecast pretty often, but have you ever wondered how that process starts? Our Candace Monticelli joins us live to teach us more about rain with the water cycle. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm sure we've all heard about the water cycle before, especially in our younger years for schooling, but we're going to learn a little bit more about it today because it just takes four simple steps and that's evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and runoff or flow, however you want to call it. So here's a list of what you need for today's experiment. A sandwich bag, a marker, some taper clip and then water and blue food coloring. So the first step is you want to take your sandwich bag and your marker and just decorate your sandwich bag. You want to add a sun, some clouds and even land with a tree or some flowers, whatever you want to add to it and water as well. So when you're done with that, looks like this. Pretty easy to make our uh, environment. So then dye the water that you have blue. Already went ahead and did that. And you want to add about a, a fourth of a cup or so of water to your bag. I'm just eyeballing it at the moment. Make sure then you do close your bag pretty tight and there you have it. There is the start of your water cycle. Now you wanna either tape or clip this to a south facing wall in your house that has access to plenty of sunlight. And you'll watch this throughout the day and then your water cycle process will start happening. So this water that is at our surface level of our environment, this will evaporate, start to make little cloud droplets and then those will condense to form our clouds, condensation. Eventually that cloud gets too heavy, which we've learned about the past several weeks, and then it'll start to rain, precipitation. That rain then will run off and flow right back into our original water source, and the cycle starts all over again. So you'll see this all happen right within this little sandwich bag. So pretty cool way to watch it throughout the day. And we're even going to see a little bit of a water cycle in our environment over the next day or so. As today, we'll start with sunshine. We'll see clouds slowly develop and then have rain chances tomorrow. So a perfect way to have it working inside your house is you're watching it uh, throughout our weather forecast the next couple of days. There's even a really cool, fun water cycle dance you can learn with the kiddos. So we do have a link to that dance on fox17online.com. You can watch and learn the steps as we're uh, watching our water cycle throughout the day as well. So a couple fun ways to get the kids involved with today's weather experiment. So there you have it. There is the water cycle.